Hey everybody, my name's Dan Furr and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to teach you about that mixer section on your synth. So in our last couple of videos we've learned that the oscillators are what produce the sound. But many synths have more than one oscillator which creates the need for a mixer section. Now this mixer section allows you to control the levels of each one of your oscillators independently allowing you to have much more control over the sound of your synth. Now let's dive into the mixer section to take a little bit more detailed look at it. So when looking at the base station, we see it has four knobs in the mixer section. Two for each oscillator, one for a sub-oscillator, and then one for a noise section. So these first two knobs are pretty self-explanatory. Each one of these knobs is a dedicated volume knob for oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. The sub-oscillator knob here is for a third oscillator that controls an octave or two octaves lower, giving it some real beefy bassy tones. And then finally, the third common thing we have on most mixer sections is the noise level. Here on this bass station, it allows us to control two different kinds of noise. A white noise, and a ring noise. And surprisingly, believe it or not, noise can actually be used to create some really cool textures and sounds, so it can be very valuable in synthesis. One final cool thing to note about this base station's mixer section is it allows you to bring in noise from an external source. Here if I flick the switch all the way up to external, it allows me to plug in an external instrument to get that noise and then I control the level of that noise here right on the mixer section and have it coming through my synth and all the parameters on the synth. This can be a very powerful tool for sound design because you can easily plug your guitar, bass, or whatever into it and start manipulating it the way you want. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Dan Fur. I hope you learned something about the mixer section today. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Cheers. Have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new synth tips and tricks. Cheers.